イレンダー基金やライン生命を代表しての訪問じゃないの単に一個人としてのホルハイヤがロドスとの関係をもっと深めたいと思ってのことなのよあら手を離すつもり自己紹介はまだ終わってないんだけどあ、uh, well I guess I won't be needing this banner anymore Only 14 away from pity, so yeah. Basically, uh, Dusk Banner again. Great, great. No, no, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> well, ha eh, at least we got it, you know, so. <sighs> eh, I'm not complaining. Let's continue with the story then. Private comments. It was me, g r a We are now on the fifth stage of Arc Knights in Lone Trail, so yeah, we still got the same four enemies here. So, so far, so good. And we're still only on <laughs> very only lead one, so that's nice.、Uh, actually, yeah, let's take a look at the map here. Still some gravity stuff, but if they want to go, they want to go up. So, yeah, we should probably、uh, yeah, get the down one. But that's going to be dangerous, you see, because. <laughs>、uh, yeah. Not fun. Yeah, of course, they put it behind the enemy thingy because they want they all want to go up, so we want to put the down button. Okay. <laughs> typical, typical. Anyway,、uh, yeah, let's get going. Oh, the sad music. Oh, no. That piano, though. Anyway, it's not getting through. Who are you calling, Saria? Tin Man. The Vero guy? Did something happen? I'm afraid so. Maylander would not have joined our pursuers otherwise. The army has an agreement with Maylander? Why are they targeting us? What happened to the Tin Man? I had a look around the way you taught me,、uh, Saria. All the soldiers are gone, and so are the agents who were on us. The pursuers would not have disappeared if you see just. <coughs> God damn it.、Uh, the pursuers would not have、uh, disappeared if she was just staying as the rear guard. Unless she offered something that satisfied them. The silver liquid? I saw it on her, around her. Transmitter? <coughs> God damn it, my nose. Jesus. Tickling so much. Go away. She, in, she was in contact with Dorothy at side 359. I d o u b t l y got the transmitter from her. Does, Dor does, Dor、eh. does Dorothy expect some her to do something? Dorothy is still in military custody. She couldn't possibly be trying to reach out to the military and Ferdinand f l o r Could it be Parvisol? <sighs> Saria. Don't worry, i f i t She'll be fine. I'm trying to tell you not to squeeze your communicator so hard. You're crushing it. Thanks. I'm not worried. t a n a s isn't so reckless. She stayed after she talked to you. I'm sure she fought it through. Hmm. She doesn't know what she's up against. The machinations of the state are far cooler than she can imagine. You think she doesn't know that? I'm sure she fought it about it. Silence works hard. She always, she's always working when I see her. The others say it's like she's being chased by something you can't see or touch. Maybe this will all be cleared up by the time we see her again. Then I'll tell her, yeah, I must say you left me behind, but I knew you could do it. Sorry, notices that i f r i t s hands are trembling. She wants to say something to comfort her, but words fail her. She realizes that even though i f r i t s words were in part intended to comfort her, she does not know the silence that i f r i t speaks of. Silence is ready. Silence knows what she is about to face. She has never thought about it that way. Over there, Saria. Hmm? The army is pulling out, but only in the direction of the military garrison. Is the transmitter really the clue to Kristen's whereabouts? Let's follow them. Silence wouldn't want you to put yourself in danger again. She promised we would go together. She said Saria will return here the moment she wakes up. That's the sort of woman she is. It's not, it's not the rational way. That's what you were trying to say, isn't it? We're not here to take risks, but to waste silence is not. We are not. 
here to take risks, not to take waste science's courage. We're just waiting for her at the end. If it. She realized that if it is much taller than she was a few years ago when she was rescued from the laboratory. In the face of impending danger, there is no impatience or recklessness in her eyes, only courage and wisdom. Let's go. All right. By the way, Saria, I saw a falling star when I got to Trimouse. A star? You mean the object that fell on the Trident Factory in District 13? It was a star! And Silas told me a story where all our differences disappear when the stars fall. When the stars fall. You and Silas are gonna make up, right? Yes, we will. Great! Will they? Saria turns back to look at the familiar streets of Trimouse. The path she is about to tread suddenly feels unfamiliar. She has overcome many challenges. What lies before her is far from a crisis. But for the first time she feels out of control. Holy hell, I'm freezing! Look out, there's a car! That was a close shave, can't even think clearly in this cold. I tell you sir, this weather is all that tech company is doing. They use drones to spray chemicals that make our lungs freeze with every breath. They want to kidnap us up, put our brains in jars and turn us into nutrients for the artificial sun. Damn dude, this, this dude has lost the plot, holy fuck. <laughs> I mean, on the other hand, if they could do it in Metal Gear Rising, I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it past my lab actually. Rules of nature, I know what I mean, anyway. Look up there in the sky. What? Those stars aren't stars. They are cameras that the boss has set up there to watch her every move. <laughs> That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, can he come to my next birthday? Dude, oh my god, we wouldn't even need uh, like a TV or anything. It would be the best fucking entertainment of all time. I love this guy. <laughs> They even kidnapped our president, put his kid out of lock, all of could be under their control. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. Favorite, favorite moment in this story so far. Here's a few bills. Find a warm place to spend the night. I don't need money, sir. I'm just waiting for dawn to break. Between the two of us, I'm organizing a protest against the vice president and those tech companies. The people must wake up. Take this to all my money. You can have it. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna fucking need it. <laughs> Wait, sir. Oh my god. No! Oh, fuck me. Not this cunt. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. So we go from the best moment in the history, in the, in the story, to the worst. That's wow! What a roller coaster of emotions, right? Anyway, I knew I would find you here. Good morning, Ferdinand. One more cup of tea, and the sun should be up. Time for me to go to work on the other side. Enough with the act, Parvis. When did you start working with Kristen? Hmm. You, Jared, Justin Jr., and Nasty. You fooled me into thinking that I had Kristen isolated. That I was just one step from success. I became a laugh, uh, laughing stock. My gamble on F is just another rung on the ladder for her to climb. T. Ferdinand? You. Underhanded old goat? Let me make one thing clear. I don't know where Kristen is. She doesn't trust me so much, and I'm not so interested in her secret. But you didn't come to ask questions, otherwise you would have brought the muscle you borrowed from that colonel as you did with Jera. Hmm. It's not like you to swallow insults from pioneers and come back to grovel at the feet of the colonel after he abandoned you once. You said your mind to it. Why did you give up so close to the truth? No wild guesses. Perhaps you should look at yourself in the mirror, Ferdinand. You're jealous of her. You're jealous that she gets men to fight for her even when she's not around. You're jealous that it only took her a few words to earn the loyalty that took you so much time and money to buy. You're jealous of her charisma. There's a part of you somewhere deep down that's enthralled by her. The more you deny it, the more you hate her. Why are you telling me this? Because it's how I feel. Can you just kill him? I, I mean, I know I, I don't like you either, but I like him even far less, actually. 
So can you just fucking kill him? Please? Look outside, Ferdinand. When I was little, I never saw stars in the night sky. All I saw was the silhouette of the great spire, the light of the witchcraft lighting up the skies. The doors told me it was the eye of the witch king watching over every inch of Lythania. And I thought, what was the meaning of life if the witch king was the sole miracle chosen by fate? Didn't you despise the efforts of those stupid casters who want to summon the witch king's souls? Yes, I opposed it. My kin and former colleagues spent their entire lives trying to recreate a fleeting miracle in this time of an age. But in my long years of research, I realized that a miracle is so because it is a coincidence that cannot be controlled or recreated. Only such a coincidence can break the cage of fate that traps us all. You see, Kristen, as that coincidence? She has the potential to create miracles. We have your dream and I have mine. If she has, is the fated miracle, then what are we? Waste coming off the production line, meaning less noise? Why, dis why despair, Ferdinand? Perhaps the fate of mankind does hinge upon a single, upon one singularity who will break all shackles and become the eyes of all to see sights that we could not have imagined. But that does not mean our lives are destined to fall by the wayside. Miracles are born in the journey of evolution, a journey made up of all our dreams, yours, mine, even that foolish tramp outside. Why are you telling me this? I, I feel like we're going in fucking circles. <laughs> I'm with Ferdinand on this one. This, this fucking stupid ass goat is just talking in circles now. I, oh, I can't stand him. Oh my god. Why couldn't Kristen just launch that whatever the fuck that object was? Just right into his fucking face. God damn. Feeling better? Have some tea. I'll put some color. It'll put some color in your face so you won't be so embarrassed when the kids see you on their way to work. Huh. I've lost everything. There isn't much for you to remember. I'm in no hurry. We can talk about work once you're done with your tea. It's always good to chat with an old friend. We took our first steps together after all. Yes! No more powers. Yes! Oh, that made me happy. Never been happier to see a transition. Hello there, good sir. Megaphone and signboards? This is what you spend the money on, not food and blankets? There are things more important than creature comforts. Give me that board. Ryan Lab, at least spell the company's name right if you're going to protest it. That's much better, thank you sir. Tell me, what do you dream of? What is the future you're fighting for? <laughs> God. Oh, ecological section. Yes, that means more music. Yes. Yes. Now I'm happy again. <laughs> How do you like my vivarium, doctor? Nobody can ju um, can just barge in. And most monster seems to like it. This monster stands quietly in the burden lab. She carefully observes each plant that meticulously across their form in her notebook. Her gaze stops on the last page of the notebook. You know it is where that letter is kept. Are you still reading the letter of Osmos Montes? Yes, Doctor. I want to remember what happened today and record it in my terminal before I forget. Loken, Loken Williams. What is the home that he talked about like? Is it like Rhodes Island? No way. Then he's not my family. I don't like him, Doctor. I came into contact with many feelings that I didn't like for him. No one likes him, Rosmontes. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. I had to punch him in the face for you. You know? I like you too much to be uh, tortured by a fucking idiot like him. No one, no one hurts my daughter. I want to pick them out and put them somewhere that wouldn't bother me. Amir helped me clean them up before she left, but they kept, but they keep going. What kind of feelings? Loss and destruction. I want to destroy them. It's not right. Piff would be angry. I shouldn't see Loken again, should I, Doctor? Do you want to learn about your past, Rosmontes? Memory is precious. I don't want to use it on bad things. But I want to see with my own eyes again. I want to know what I would do. It may not be to learn. It may, it may be to throw it away again. But I'll say goodbye properly this time. We'll find Loken. Get some rest before that, though. Mm-hmm. I'll put it on his shoulders. Go to sleep. Mm, doctor. 
The young feline lies down at your side, clutching the jacket you gave her light tightly. Her breathing is fragile yet resilient as as it is when she is awake. She's tired. Those monsters are heavily dependent on intention. The day took a toll on her. What about you, doctor? Let's talk somewhere else. Let Rose want to sleep. There we go. Good. Your bro brows furrowed. Rhodes Island has been dragged into the maelstrom of Trimounts. <laughs> the explosion at the Trine factory, the attack on the vice president, Kristen's disappearance, Trimounts is in a chaos right now. It may be irresponsible to say this, but neither the army nor the Maelander Foundation have time to deal with Rhodes Island. You're not at the center of maelstrom, of the maelstrom. We need no need to be so nervous, doctor. Hmm. Still, I'm responsible for your situation here. Our partnership's still good. You help me, and I'll do my best to help you. So cute! Stop. If it comes to it, I can arrange to get you, Rosmontis, and Ify out of time rounds right now. Sincerity is the foundation of cooperation, Milsis. Are you trying to stop something or put something right? You're looking for both Sari and Kristen? We're partners, but I don't know what you really think. A dance, Doctor? Oh my god, it's the fucking PV! Yes! I get to dance with the elf! Let's go! Oh, putting on some jazz, huh? I like that. Smooth jazz, something like that, I don't know. Sounds like jazz. With the... Yeah, that one. Sounds like a trumpet. <laughs> Oh, saxophone. That's not a trumpet. Saxophone, that's what I meant. <laughs> it's no fun being interrogated like this. Mrs. puts her hands behind her back, turns around and takes a couple of steps. She looks back at you with a rare, serious expression on her face. Music fills the air. It is a relaxed, soothing tone. I agree! It is a soothing tone. You see moisture seep from the leaf veins, converging into a drop of dew. More drops appear, leaving the leaves and catching up to your Mrs. moving with the flow of the melody. You see the wave of the rhythm of each, of each droplet light as breath. They are the melody itself. Feel it, Doctor? It will guide our steps. Your job is seen free in this vivarium. The air in this vivarium seems clean. Very astute, Doctor. From lightning to irrigation to atmosphere control, none of the systems in this vivarium employ originium technology. It is the cleanest place in Trimount. This is the one place in Trimounts where I feel at ease. Oftentimes I choose to operate through a clone not because... Uh, wait, wait. Not because I want to, but because I have to. Lucius disappears from your vision. You find your hand holding nothing but air. The doublets form a ribbon of water gently pulling you towards a corner of the vivarium. Can I find the real Musis? The pill... What the fuck? The pale fur is extremely sensitive to its environment. Pollution from Arginium Industries have reduced its habitat to a small number of hilly areas in Colombia. The doublets scatter and scatter, creating a mist between you and the furs. You see the faint silhouette of a tombstone. Mulesi sits quietly by it, picking away at the weeds that surround it. You have never seen her so sad. Is it a shadow of the past? Oh my god, look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. I grew up in an orphanage in Trenton near Trimount. The headmaster said I was found on the doorsteps of the orphanage. No one knows who my parents are. I realized at an early age that I was different. My powers are unique, but they are not Originium arts. I'm much more sensitive to Originium than most people are. Even a slight increase in Originium in concentration is enough to affect my health. What am I? No one knows. That's why I've searched for the answer since I was little. Ironically, it's also the reason why my grades have always been good. Finally, I found that word hidden away in some ancient books. Elves. The word is not unknown to you. You do have many secrets, don't you, Doctor? Mm-hmm. Well, it's not important. Anyway, I tracked down my biological parents' old Trimont's home, but the house had long since changed hands. Oh, God. <laughs> oh god damn it, it's the third time now. Ah, oh, and here comes the fourth. 
Uh, no, it's going away. Okay, no one. Oh, Christ. I keep going. <clears throat> I followed the trail they left behind and eventually found where they went. It's this village right here. So remote, I thought I made a mistake. Most of the buildings have fallen into ruin. They look to be centuries old. I didn't see anyone. I had a feeling as I went into the hills behind the village. I saw a simple cemetery surrounded by pale firs where dozens of tombstones lay. This village was not an elven settlement. It was the graveyard. Lucy stands up, looks at you and fades away into the mist before the first. Your partner returns to your side. Elven nature forced you to distance yourself from monetize it. Why did your parents and parents abandon you? They contracted oropathy. Elves are highly sensitive to originium and lack resistance to oropathy or or symptoms. Few live more than a month after contracting oropathy. Like most elves, they could not accept spending the rest of their lives in remote mountains and sought a more convenient, more advanced, more interesting life, despite the dangers. The new Arginium would kill them someday. They accepted it. Knowing that days were numbered, they left me behind in a village far away from the cities and returned to the place where they came from to await the coming of death. Are you looking for a way to change the fate of your people? Hmm. Next dance, Doctor. Mode drivers rise in the vivarium, and the music enters a new passage. The smile returns to Musa's face. The melody sinks on. You do not know if the topic will continue. Sometimes I am in Rhodes Island. There are so many people there. You came to Rhodes Island. Oh, you knew? I sneaked in once or twice to see if Ify was doing well and see what Saria was doing. And I saw someone standing on the deck gazing at the sunset lost in fog. I didn't notice you. Don't tell anyone. Just one of my tiny clones. No danger to anybody. I thought, why would you be up on the deck with only your thoughts for company when there's so much joy waiting down below? I feel like there was, there, there used to be someone I would watch the sunset with. Oh, a sneak peek into the doctor's past. Mm, interesting. Could be a Mia, but maybe someone else. Who knows? Did you find any memories of that person? After all these years, all I know is a name. So there are answers beyond even your reach. That makes things seem a little bit fair. She leads you on doing a half pirouette. You're a good dancer. Of course I am. I was the ace of my university dance team. <laughs> oh, she practiced dance? Oh, that's so cute. That's, dude, that's so cute. She has many sides. That's why I like her so much. After I, left, after I left the village, I spent all my time studying. Every Colombian child knows that science and tech are the very best way to change your life. I studied to become the top of my class, then went to school in Trimount, where I stayed on top. I spent a lot of effort to blend into modern life, fashion, gaming, literature, music, dance. I studied etiquette, met a lot of people. She's a gamer like us bros, let's go! <laughs> oh yes. Now have I been closer to anyone in this game. <laughs> for others, these are hobbies, but for me, it's a mission, an exploration, a test. I know it sounds weird, but I test myself to live life as hard as I could. Hmm. It's been a long time since I danced though. With Saria and Kristen? The doubles go around you, the lights of the vivarium cannot penetrate them. The whole fragments of the past, gentle, clear, yet untouchable. The newly renovated lab, mostly empty bottles, Saria and Kristen, and Mutes without a disappointed look on her face. The three stare at each other in the middle of the room like three wooden mannequins. New Year's Eve, not long after Wine Lab was founded, everyone was happy. I was the happiest. I met Kristen and Saria shortly before I graduated. Kristen is not your average investor's preferred partner. You know you're in for surprises the moment you see her, and not all of them are gonna be pleasant. As for Saria, she felt just felt steady as a rock. My advisor happened to be involved with a project of theirs, but she wasn't very interested, so she sent me in her stead. I had nothing bad then, other than my obsession with living hard. I tried everything and went nowhere. They helped me get over the period where when I lost uh when I was lost between my identities as a graduating student as an, and as an elf. It was just me, Chris and Saria, Paris and Ferdinand at the time. Paris hid himself upstairs saying he couldn't stay up all night. Ferdinand left early for other business. 
Can you believe it? At the end of the day, I couldn't find anyone to dance with me. I ended up grabbing Saria and Kristen. None of us knew how to dance in freeze. I can still remember the looks on their faces. <laughs> That's fun. Oh. Right now, is important to you. To be more precise, Saria and Kristen are important to me. I've always believed that we'll only get where we really went to if the two of them work together. The music ends. The Vivarium Sensi, except for music standing opposite you, calm as a pale fur. You hear the sound of the air circulating system running. The wind on your face feels unusually moist. The scent of plants, the soft earth. You realize that the droplets of water, the music, and the dance really existed. You found my wobbliness, Doctor. Yes, I'm trying to manipulate everyone, including you. But everything I do, I do for myself. The few care that I have left so we can breathe, feel the wind, run, travel freely. Also, there are other elves, perhaps? Hmm, I mean, it is possible, I suppose. To make our journey a little less hard. All I've done, I did to keep a few friends I have so that in this city I won't be so alone. This is all I can tell you, all I can promise you. She is lonely, that we know. There are a lot of things you haven't made clear. You didn't really manipulate me. And so, help me one more time in those Hmm? I must find Logan Williams. Hmm. Even if I could help you, why do you not ask me to help you and Rosmontis get our time out safely? Rose Island only goes forward. We come too, back to turn, too fast to turn back now. Sorry and Dr. Kelsen have reason to get involved. What about, but what about you? Will you get to the bottom of all of this even if the price is a two-fought war with the military and mainlander? That's not the most logical choice. I want to help us monsters. I want the truth. Yeah. Are you so interested in Christmas dream? Hmm. All right, we have a deal. Our punisher will go on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hmm. Who was that on the phone? A lonely soul searching for companions. Since when have you two become such close friends? We just happen to be going the same way for a while. Same for you, when are you going to leave my lab? The smell of alcohol affects the equipment. <sighs> That's so cold. Thanks to you and that agent's improvisation, I have a few dozen calls to make tonight just to keep you out of jail. Like hell I'm doing this sober. You got what you wanted. Is Christmas price not enough for a businessman like you? A price? Are you reminding me how much I lost to this crazy plan? Then you should have gone to Casimir's. Join the chamber and play with the knights and spectators? Speculators. Yes, the plan has been lying in my terminal for years. I could make more money and do so in a safer way. But all those great projects, they are part of a nation and era. I want to seize the opportunity before me to see the future far beyond anyone's wildest dreams rise from my palms. Is that a dream? Far from a practical person like from a practical person like you? Anyone can dream, especially from the fickle tides of fate. You put astutely going the same way. Look at those sciences. For all the conflicts they went through, from friend to foe and from foe to friend, they all end up on the same path. They all saw a part of themselves in the, in the least likely of all futures. What about you? A meaningless question. Why do you think I've tolerated your presence for long? For so long. That's why I like going this going the same way part. Even if it's only temporary. Miss Nasty Lunore. Oh that's actually a cool name. Lunore? Come on, that's cool. If we still have our life and liberty after tomorrow, will you come with me to the highest point in Time Mounts and take a good look at the sky that hasn't changed for thousands of years? Oh sh shit, what? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot we were at battle stage. Yeah, we haven't done anything yet. Beyond the veil. Alright. Okay. okay. Look at this spectacular sight. Alas, hmm. it is now a battlefield. Right. 
I suppose we can put it over here. Or even better. This way, maybe? Okay. Oh shit, if I can <laughs> if I can even okay we have we have we have health. We have we have help. We have help. If no no she's she's good. She, yeah. We're we're good, we're good. There we go. We're good. One should unsteady posture, wavering intent, much to learn yet. Mm. Oh. Well, you're annoying. You are pretty annoying and you're just fucking... <laughs> you're just fucking... Uh... Oh my god. Medics, that's why I want... Jesus. I don't know why I was so on. What the f what the fuck? Is that a rocket? <laughs> Takes up free block when passing by an operator deals physical damage to them based on movement. Okay. Okay, okay. Fair play, fair play. Anyway, can we uh does that count? It does. <laughs> I love Dorothy, dude. <laughs> Absolutely love her. Okay. So, if it can hold this lane, I suppose. Oh. Right, we're gonna need. Uh... At your a thousand moves in one breath. Fuck are you going, bitch? Fuck are you going? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. There we go. Yeah, so you can reach everyone here. Ah, oh, too fast. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. At your command, a thousand moves in one breath. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing good combats. Oh my god, stop being so cute. Um, <laughs> perhaps not. Well, we do need. There we go. No! No! Fuck you! No! 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 You are the fuck? What? I had. What? Bullshit! Bullshit! Come on, man! No, 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 no. That was bullshit. I had something on that fucking plate. Fuck you. That was. No, 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 no. I'm not. No. No. Not fun. Okay? Not funny. Not funny. Get this spectacular sight. Alas, it is now a battlefield. Oh, oh, we can't. Oh, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> I guess we do need to put someone over there. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, well. One should oh. spar from time to time. Hello. Oh. This side of Senjo de Adeba. Kai gets through the Kai Pirakuda. One should a thousand moves in one breath. Hello. No. So cute. Okay, stop. Hmm. Why Damn, why do they hurt so much? What the fuck? Alright. 
剣は焼酎にありあそれ以上傷つかずに。アンステディポスター、ウェイブリングインテンド、マッチトゥーレーンイエット。これが貴様らが悪事を働く理由か。これが貴様らが悪事を働く理由か。これが貴様らが悪事を働く理由か。これが貴様らが悪事を働く理由か。これが貴様らが悪事Yeah, those stupid ass cars can go fuck themselves. Rocket cars, whatever the fuck you want to call them. They're dead. <laughs> They're so dead. Yeah, enjoy that, bitch. Unsteady posture, wavering intent. Much to learn yet. Come on, kill it! Ah, oh, Ifrit, I love you. <laughs> yeah, get bombed, idiot. Fuck you. Now we know about the buttons, so that's good. Oh, isn't this the space station? Oh. A lot of noise. Another delivery from your engineering director? Final test will take about 45 minutes. Plenty. My greatest achievement will be complete once this data is transferred. I will retain your research records. I know, give it to that girl Huyak or someone else, I don't care. Being able to finish this research here in my final days almost lets me forget all the regrets in my life. <laughs> I still remember how hard it was to accept when you showed this to me for the first time. <laughs> the irony. How it scorns every conceited researcher who walked the walls of science for the past few centuries. It laughs in the face of our research, made it all worthless. Mm. What is this, Kristen? How are you able to speak of its theories and emerge with such confidence when you've never performed a single experiment? This thing is beyond my understanding. Even more frightening is that all those tales you tell of those black cubes are true. 
Tell me, Kristen. Tell me. What is this I'm about to study? That's your job. Where did you find it? How did you gain this knowledge? Hm. Don't be so hard on a dying man, Kristen. Who gave you this? God. <laughs> Have I overestimated you, young genius? Do you believe in ghosts and spirits like up to the unknown and all? No, you're not the kind of woman who would joke about this. You are not foolish or shameless enough for that or to place your hopes in empty faith. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> the irony. God. Another month has passed since God bestowed on me to his mercy. In this short period of time I completed more work than I could have imagined for decades. <laughs> Even if I ha can't help but wonder. What miracle do you plan to bring us? Bring the people on this land. Bring to the people on his land. Hmm. Kristen does not answer. She gazes at the stars outside the window silently, lost in thought. Another half hour. Blah. I should start thinking about supper. Donut, fried, how fowl beast, hot dog. Oh, the Trimons is up in arms over this place, but look how carefree the heart of the storm is. <coughs> Who are you? I want the blueprints and the efficiency data for the shaft and the associated facilities now. Sorry, that's highly classified. Do you see my clothes, my security pass right here? Or do you need me to put Blake on the line for you? N no, sir, I'll put it together. No need, this terminal right here. Turn it on. But sir, this is raw data without visualization. I'm Ferdinand and Clooney. Brand Labs Director of Energy. I designed the Tri Mountain Energy Circulation System. The processor of the terminal in front of you is based on an Arginium energy conversion formula named after me. The Clooney formula? You are. You wasted two minutes. Data, now. Y yes, sir. Mm. Seconds passed, and minutes. Ferdinand could almost hear the sounds of military convoys moving through the streets. Blake could find Chris in any moment. He must hurry. For what? Here and here. Have these data been manipulated? Oh, of course not. All the data are transmitted in real time to the army's labs. It's more than my life's worth to upload false data. No one wants to get on the wrong side of the army. It doesn't match. I beg your pardon? The structure of the shaft, the distribution of the pipelines and the performance of the existing propulsion system. None of them is right. Just discreet enough to avoid notice. Damn. That can't be. You must be mis mis No. I suppose not, you of all people. Perhaps this is a temporary plan for experimentation and development and the adjustment will be made before the official launch. What's the plan for the official launch? Uh, Hammer should be on a mobile plate near the shaft. Kristen stole the entire plate. But the proportion device is still here. The army has impounded all the launchers that were under construction. Even if she manipulated there, she couldn't. No, with this proportion performance. Unless. Hmm. Get Blake on the line. Huh? Now. This had better be important, Ferdinand, for you to bother me at a time like this. Listen, Nasty Lunaray is one of Kristen's. The proportion device that she designed does not have the performance to lift Hammer off the ground. Justin Jr. must have brought out your scientists to cover up Kristen's real goal. They're working together. So you're telling me everyone in Rhine Lab is complicit in Kristen's suspended treason? Mm. I'm not. You need to tell me something new. What? If the researcher you sent me is actually useful, then I'll drag that kernel of yours from the stolen hammer soon enough. What is to say I will soon know how many insurgents there are in Rhine? Then Rhine, is there anything more important that you want to report? Mm. No, sir. Congratulations in advance on your successful mission, Colonel. Close the file. Yes, sir. Is there anything else you need? Do you have a maintenance aircraft? The kind that can reach Hammer's theoretical fear, ceiling? Yes, we do. I need you. I need to borrow it. But didn't you say Hammer wouldn't fly because of the proportion issues? Or can it? You're right. We took our first steps together. What? I mean, you're right, maybe I was mistaken. 
Oh Jesus, that's bright. Strong transmitter reaction. I can feel a lot of it lying ahead. Right in the middle of urban trimounts. Yes, sir. The area ahead is sewage treatment and garbage disposal. Very few people live here. You mean Kristen Wright hit hammer in some other building right under our nose? Target may have set up jammers in the area. Our guys didn't detect any signals when they passed through. Those egghead sons of bitches and their tricks. Should we turn the place upside down? No, that'll take too much time and draw the enemy's attention. Can you locate it? I need to power your neural electricity stimulator. Do you know how to use that? I believe Ryan developed it. There's no getting away from you people, is there? Give it to her. Yes, sir. Cranial electricity will trigger resonance in the transmitter inside me. Resonance will also occur in any nearby transmitter strong enough for your sensors to detect. Go on. Hmm. All right. I got a reading. It's increasing in strength. Increase output by 10%. Uh. Ugh. Mm. Pre-epilepsy symptoms. Should I take over? I have a mech operating experience and long-range arts unit implants. Her transmitter is from side 359. It's the only one that will work. Pro Proceed. I can take it. You got a stable signal. Coordinates have been synchronized to officer terminals. Sir. Good, we know where Hammer is now. Proceed to the target ASAP. <laughs> Handkerchief. Now you can even see through all that sweat. F thank you. Director Jaren, did the soldiers bother you? Oh? No, just your short chit chat. Did you say anything? Nothing. The funny thing is, I don't even know anything. I know Kristen like Kristen knows me. I didn't sign on her. I didn't sign on to her adventure, and she refused to let me risk my remaining life for her. Control is lucky to have you. Lucky? No, I don't think so, Silence. When I look at Kristen, I don't see the inscrutable dom dominating control of Ryan. I only see a girl too proud to bow her head. Maybe time stopped 20 years ago for both of us. You mean, the Devin Control's parents were killed in the, fly uh, in the flight test accident? It was supposed to be a sunny, cloudless day. Is it regret? Remorse? Is it because I watched them fly to their end because I didn't check their flight plan carefully? Or because I didn't expect the government and capitalists would allow that sensitive little girl to become the target of all their attacks on her parents in order to protect their name? No, it's neither. It was just one failure. Even if it was my only one, it should be nothing for an experienced agent. But I could never forget the look in her eyes. That ball of fire falling from the sky continues to burn in her eyes. It's appeared in my dreams on many a night. I don't want to see it extinguished again. He left the mainland foundation because of control. A scientist stops being a scientist when she develops an emotional attachment to a test object, huh? Hmm. You of all people should understand. I was never a mother. But I have a child. And that's a big oof. Last of my drink here. Gamma and Delta squads in position, sir. Everything looks normal within the target building, scanning for potential hostiles. Wait, is that a mail and a drone? So that's why the goddamn agents didn't show up. They were tracking our aircraft. Why didn't they find out about, about the plate then? Were they waiting for us to do our job, then pick up the scraps? Mail and eyes are everywhere. Colombia has changed a lot in the past 20 years. I used to protect people like the rights from conspiracy theorists and technophobes. I suppose even the great Milena can be wrong at times. Look at the mad scientists out there, they are the greatest threat. Message from Milena, Colonel. They are syncing the drone data with us. Less than 10 life forms within 10 clicks of the target. We had an elite squad keeping an eye on Kristen before she disappeared. Are you telling me that a bunch of scientists and a few assistants took out an entire squad of commandos? Maybe we went to the wrong place? No. That's not imp impossible for, for the control I know. 
Hmm. Keep your eyes open. Don't let your guard down. What was that? I think we just hit something, sir. No sense I'm picking up anything. It, it's the wind. It's a wall of wind. We can't maintain altitude. Losing altitude. 500. 400. 350. Out of my way. Give me the controls. Th that's the building. Our, that's the building. Also, we're gonna hit it. Crazy bitch. First one. What happened? That's the Colonel's aircraft. It fell into the buildings at 10 o'clock. Gamma squad to the crash site now. Did the enemy come from the air? Why didn't we get any warnings from the mainlander drones? No, we lost all communications. Mainlander sires all went out at the same time. Second one. Total off of communications with mainlander. This is Fubar. Isn't their shit supposed to be cutting edge? Large number of hostiles. 10, 11, no more. Ambush. Raise the colonel. Hmm. There's too many of them. Hold, hold. Mainlander douchebag said there were less than 10. Was the data wrong or did they screw us? Ah. It's not the data that's wrong. Colonel, you're safe. Form up. Gamma and Delta pull back and find cover. Have the power armor assault team move up. Let everyone know we're facing the latest prototype unmanned power armor. Third one. The walls of the room block all screens, but the explosion can be clearly seen on the monitors. Huyak does not look at the screen. Her eyes have not left the book since the first prey stepped into the trap. She swings her tail back and forth in boredom, pressing the one button after another, directing the show happening not far from here. Where are you going? To fulfill my final wish. Sneaking out to meet someone again? You'll die out there and I won't be there to save you. <coughs> Don't croak before the work is done. Otherwise, you can't take it from me. It's not ready for activation yet. Only an ugly death awaits if you <coughs> rush it. I know. I've heard that enough times. Take it as words of wisdom from a dying man. You are not too young to be showing the madness of the impeding end. Time does not treat us all fairly. Go, old man, and dream your last dream before death carries you away. Good night. As for me, it's time for me to deal with my last problem. Uya puts down the book and hooks something from the pile of books within her, with her tail. A metal head. She blows lightly at the head and sees the white vapor pass through the metal shell, then dissipate into the thin air without going anywhere. It's not every day you get to see Maryland agents work with commandos. Are you really sure you don't want to come back from the dead, my dear old employer? You'll miss the best parts. Crazy bitch, indeed. <laughs> Who's the enemy? Only someone with the internal access codes can save all of Maylander's eyes at the same time. Control has someone from Maylander with her? An elite Maylander agent codenamed Hulhiak. She took she took over the task of monitoring Kristen from me. I wasn't sure if she had turned traitor until now. Hulhiak? Yesterday. Hulhiak means yesterday. It's unknown whether it's her codename or the one she was born with. Kristen brought her to Rhine Lab one year ago, saying she was Rhine Lab's nearest biology consultant. Wait, 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 wait. Bibliology. Bibli Fuck it. I looked into her background but found nothing. Millander had concealed most of her files, of course, but that wasn't much of a problem for me. Not even Millander knows about her past. It's like, she it's like she popped into a world yesterday. Her knowledge, her powers, her arts, none of them have anything to do with modern technology. Have you ever heard the legend from the days when the world was just a barren land? She is the bear, she is Phidia. She rides with the wind and dances with the stars. She is the last elder still blessed by the heavens. Forward, forward. Stay in formation, cover the others. Wait, up in the sky, hostile approaching. Taking. 
Energy beam, wait. How could this be? It won't fire. Are our weapons being attacked? No, the weapon's fine. It's the sky that's being affected. Unknown energy interference in the area. Ugh. Great Force takes hold of him. Even in his metal armor, the soldier feels frail and helpless like a naked infant. He waves his limb futilely, but he could not control his body or the exoskeleton wrapped around it. <sighs> he flung like a plastic toy, smashing into another power armor. Damn! Silver Queen shadows leave the shadow armor. The cigarette approaches slowly in the smoke. <coughs> G212 Alpha 13 Abandoned Aces Girls and Hostile Contact. Su support requested. How many hostiles? One. One. I'm afraid I'm the only one you're facing. Do you need time to surrender? God damn. Mm, we're almost there. That's the hideout Kristen prepared for Logan. We walked a few hours on, I thought, you know, we walked a few hours on the ground. Where did you get your info, Mulesies? I befriended a uh, straightforward engineer. Phew, I've smelled better. Kristen hasn't changed. You could throw her into a garbage dump when she's in the middle of an experiment and she wouldn't care one bit. Did you know that Sari and I picked all her clothes? Even Saria is more concerned about fashion than she is, and... They're fighting. Drat, you don't have time. Time for what? Doctor, Logan is a convict with a few hundred years on his sentence. You want to take the smallest to see him? Then you have to beat them to, to it. How do you plan to explain to the military if they find us together? Those monsters? Mm. What's with the kitten? He's thinking about something? Face is sensitive to the battlefield environment. Keep an eye on her, Doctor. I need to find a way in. Maybe I can use my water to get in through the vents, then hack the store circuits. No need to look, Musies. This is... Kristen built the lab inside. Loken. I remember this place. It's not in my memory. I've never been in this corridor, but my eyes, ears, mouth, emotions. They all tell me I've walked the path like it. Aww, pure monsters, come on. Welcome home, child. Welcome to the court that I've prepared for you. No, fuck no. Okay, alright. Well, that was, a, that was a good amount of an hour. <laughs> Oh wait, it's the fifth map. Oh wait. Oh yeah, we completed. Yeah, we completed this. Yes, there we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> New investigation report into the area. Nice. We need a secret channel. Okay. So we need more of this, I suppose. Seven with a freeze. Okay. Well, I can't do that for now, right now. <laughs> Shit. Tomorrow, I believe. Oh, silence! Yes, here we go. From past to future. Doctor, this way, the Rodos' time of detention will be cut off. But the connection to Rodos will be stronger and stronger. I hope you will agree with me. Because I believe Rodos. I believe you. Oh, thank you, silence. You're too nice. <sighs> oh. Uh. Um. Oh, sure. Did I get this? I guess I got this, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for, for watching comments. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do leave a like, and if you want to see more Arknights or possible other, possibly other games in the future, do subscribe, that would be amazingly appreciated, and uh, yeah, if you have any thoughts about the battles we just did here, and you know, I, mean, I mean both in the story and uh, in the game, <laughs> um, yeah, do leave a comment, and I will see you very, very soon again. As always, comrades, have a good day. That is it for now. That's Vidanya.